This is it, the long-awaited Switch Pokemon Randomizer Tutorial. That is right, using this tutorial video you can randomize any Switch Pokemon game, from Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, all the way up to Legends Arceus, and some words on future Pokemon games if you're watching this from the distant future. So, before we get started, you will need a Nintendo Switch with custom firmware installed. Now this is not going to be a tutorial video on how to get custom firmware because that is a very involved process. However, the Nintendo Homebrew Guide, which is the most up-to-date, is in the description. It is worth noting that if you have an OLED Switch or a Switch Lite, your Switch is not hackable unless you have a hard mod. If you have the original Switch, you can go to ismyswitchpatch.com and enter your serial number to see if your Switch is hackable. Otherwise, that will also require a hard mod. If you already have a custom firmware switch, you're going to want to make sure that it's up to date. We also have a guide for that link down below. In addition to the steps in that guide, some additional steps to make sure that you won't have any problems would include deleting the Atmosphere folder, the Sept folder, and the Bootloader folder. In the Atmosphere folder, you might want to save the Contents folder if you do have any mods installed. And in the bootloader folder, you might want to save the Hikade IPL.ini file if you have a custom configuration. If you don't know what any of this means, you probably don't have to worry about it and you should just delete those three folders. Once you have your custom firmware switch set up and up to date, we are going to enter RCM and inject Hikade. We have a guide for this down below, but if you installed custom firmware, this should just be a normal part of booting up into custom firmware for you. Now we are going to enter USB mode, which allows us to access your Switch's SD card through your computer. Once you are connected, you are going to download the NX Dump Tool NRO on your computer. On your SD card, in the Switch folder, create another folder called NX Dump Tool. From there, just move the NRO that we just downloaded into that folder. Once that is done, your Switch is all ready to go to dump your game and get randomizing. In this section of the video, I'm going to show you how to dump a copy of your game that you're looking to randomize. So, from the Hikade menu, we are going to go to Launch, and then Atmosphere. Now, before we dump any games, we are going to want to make sure that they are up to date, so make sure you are on the latest version of whatever game you are looking to randomize. Once you are ready, just launch any Switch game while holding the R button. It does not have to be the same game that you're looking to dump. From there, you are going to launch NX Dump Tool. If you are dumping a physical game, you will select the top option, Dump Game Card Content. If you are dumping a digital game, then you are going to select the option right below it, Dump Installed SD Card slash EMMC Content. First, we are going to go down to ROMFS Options. From here, the only option that you'll have to change is the bottom row, that is Use Update slash DLC. Make sure that you're using the Update. Once that's selected, just scroll back up to ROMFS Section Data Dump. From there, your Switch will start dumping, and depending on the game, this will take a long time. So get yourself a snack or something, so when you come back, we can dump the EXEFS. All you have to do is press the B button once ROMFS is done, and then just go up to EXEFS Options. Just like ROMFS, all you have to do is make sure that you use Update on the bottom row. Then go up to EXEFS Section Data Dump, select that, and then it will dump. This should be way quicker than the ROMFS and then your game will be dumped. Just click any button to continue, then press the plus button to back out to the homebrew menu, then click reboot to payload. From there, you can go into USB mode, which we did earlier in the video. Once again, this will make your SD card accessible via your computer. So on your SD card, go to the switch folder, and in there, go to the NX dump tool folder. Your game will be separated by ROMFS and EXEFS. So before we copy that over, we're going to go on your computer and make a folder. So go ahead and name that after whatever game that you are dumping. In this case, we're going to be copying over our dump of Sword. So I just named the folder Sword. Inside that folder, make two folders. One will be named ROMFS, and the other will be named EXEFS. Now back to the SD card. Within NX Dump Tool, find the ROMFS folder. Inside that, you should see a folder that looks like the game that you dumped. Inside that folder, copy all of its contents into the ROMFS folder that we just made on your computer. Now that will take a while, but once that's done, 
go back to the NX dump tool folder, go to EXEFS, and then there you should also see another folder that looks like the game that you dumped. Copy all of those contents into the EXEFS folder that we also just made on your computer. Now that this is done, we have a copy of your game and we can get to randomizing. From here, just go to the specific timestamp of the game that you're looking to randomize and we'll give specific instructions on how to go from there. The first game we will be going over is Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. For this, we will be using PK and X, so go ahead and download the latest version of that and extract it to your computer. We're going to run pknx.exe. And as you can see, I already had Let's Go Pikachu open, but I'll show you how to open your game. Just go to File, Open, and then go to wherever the folder is with your EXEFS and ROMFS that we just dumped. As you can see here, I named the Let's Go Pikachu, and inside of it is EXEFS and ROMFS. So we're going to click on the Let's Go Pikachu folder, and mine's already open, but, you know, yeah, it'll just open up for you. So I'm going to go through the options here that I think are uh, relevant for randomizing. You can check out all of these editors, but I'll just show you some of the highlights and what I think will be important for what you'll be looking for with randomizing. A lot of cool stuff, though, so definitely look into everything that they have here. First of all, we have the trainer editor. A lot of options here. You could do special trainer classes, or uh, rather skip specials. Uh, definitely keep that on true. <laughs> um, you could turn this on, though, if you want different trainer classes. Turn on double battles. You can uh, make the shiny chance of trainers be higher. Uh, so that's really cool. A lot of edits that you can add in here. So definitely mess around with all these. And uh, by default, I will say, uh, the trainers did randomize to have Gen 2 through 8. So what I did was made these all uh, false because I got like Brock with Shroomish and Weasel and Skrelp and other Pokemon that really shouldn't be in the game. Not sure if that is an overlook or not, but I would do that just to be safe. And really the big thing here is just clicking the randomize button. You could also do max AI. Like I said, there's a lot of options here, but hey, if you just want to go simple, just click randomize. We could see Brock has, uh, oh my God, an Alolan Graveler. That you can find in this. Uh, <laughs> and uh, as you can see right here, he has a full team of six. That is an option that we have in there as well. So definitely go and check out all the options and make it as customized as you'd like. And from there, we're just gonna click save. And that is the trainer editor. From there, we're going to go to Pokemon. And here, mostly what's important is just going to be fixing evolutions. That's probably the most useful thing. Uh, you could randomize evolutions. You could randomize evolutions every level. Probably what you're going to do in most scenarios is just replace the trade evolution so that you don't have to trade Graveler for Golem and so on and so forth. And just click save. For this, there's a lot of other options, but randomizing or uh, rather replacing the trade evolutions is probably what you're going to care about the most. From there, the next cool editor is going to be gift Pokemon. You can randomize. Trades, you can randomize. Statics, you can randomize. Easy peasy. And then we have the wild editor, another pretty big editor here. And we're going to go to this rand tab here. You can edit the spawn counts and the spawn rates. Uh, the biggest thing here is really going to be randomize all species. And you could also level boost, which is very cool. Uh, fill all empty slots is also nice for routes that do not have a full roster of Pokemon. I think that's really cool. So we're just going to randomize all species here. And then we're going to save. You can edit the shiny rate if you want. Um, always shiny is not available for this game but here it's three percent so if you want to go absolutely nuts because this game already has overworld pokemon that's even crazier you can click save this does have randomized tms so you can randomize tms here look at all that we got nasty plot as a tm leech life aqua jet you can actually adjust the type chart you can randomize the type chart a lot of cool functionality in this you can click save if you want that Shop one just has the Celadon department store, TMs and evolution stones. You could randomize that if you'd like. And then the normal shops here, you can randomize and save. Just make sure you click save for all of these or else they will not work. So that was a little bit of a speed run on how to randomize Let's Go Pikachu. Some of these others you might be interested in. Um, items you really can't do much with if you saw and you're wondering why. There's really not much you could do with that right now. Uh, in the future, there might be more functionality than there is right now, but honestly, uh, there's a lot right now that you can do with Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. They've been out for a while. So that is how you randomize. Just X out of this. And then in your original folder that you apply these files to, 
this EXTFS and RAMFS, these are the original files. This, this folder right here with all of those characters and numbers, actually it's uh, mostly numbers, uh, that is your randomizer patch. So go ahead and skip to the timestamp on the screen, whether you are applying your uh, patch to a switch or an emulator, and I will show you how to actually apply this. All right, let's randomize some Pokemon Sword and Shield. As you can see here, I have my sword folder with my exported EXEFS and ROMFS folders from my SD card. And over here, I have PKNX. This is the program we will be using to randomize this game. So download the latest version of PKNX and unzip it onto your computer. As you can see, there's a folder within a folder, and you should just go ahead and be able to find PKNX.exe. Once you open that, go ahead and go to File, Open, and then just navigate to wherever your folder is with the EXEFS and the ROMFS. I went ahead and made my life a little bit easier by just putting it on the root of my C drive, but whatever folder your ROMFS and EXEFS are in, that should do it for you. So, as you can see here, Game Dumps, Sword, and click OK. And you will have the editor come up here. So, I'm not going to show you every little option you could explore uh, however much of this that you want, but I'll just show you some of my favorite things to randomize and probably what most people are going to be interested in. So we're going to start out with trainers. So there's a lot of options that you have here. Let's go to an example. Let's say we have hop here. If we go to randomizer options. There are so many specific options that you can toggle, such as random trainer class. You can make this true to have randomized trainers like having a rival how make him into a chef or something <laughs> um, make sure that you have skip special classes on true or else your game will crash you can force double battles you can force special teams to have a full team of six a lot of good options here go through them and see what you like but the main option that you're going to be interested in is randomize and oh my god would you look at that hop actually got a shiny dwebble so i guess there's a uh, shiny option in, in here um yeah shiny chance Two and a half times, uh, that is two and a half percent. That's that's really funny, actually. Uh, you can do max AI. Lots of cool changes. I know a lot of people will mainly care about the randomize option here. So just, if you're looking for a simple randomizer, click randomize, and then the big important button, save. Make sure you save your changes. Next, we're going to go to Pokemon. So the Pokemon menu here is going to be nice for a few quality of life changes. There's a lot of options that you can set. The main one that you're probably going to care about is replacing trade evolutions. That is very convenient. Pokemon like Graveler won't require a trade. They will evolve at a level. So that's really nice. You could also do random evolution every level, randomize evolutions. Lots of cool options. Like I said, go ahead and check out whatever you want. Replace trade evolutions is the one that I really care about personally. So that's under Pokemon. Next, we have shiny rate. You could have always shiny Pokemon. You could boost the shiny rate. Right now, this would be about 3%, so that's pretty cool. You can click save on that if you want crazy shinies. From there, you can go to wild. This is the wild editor, probably the most important randomization that you can do. So we're going to go over here. And what you can do is fill empty slots. This will make it so uh, any routes, any locations that uh, are not maxed out on encounters that will fill out all of them. So that's really cool. You can do a level boost, probably what most people will care about is the randomize all species so we'll go ahead and click that that usually takes a little bit of time but uh that actually happened very quickly here so that's cool click save you can randomize raids very simple just you could randomize raid rewards those are simply raid rewards the bonus rewards those are like a separate slot in the game data just click randomize there if you want to randomize raid rewards that's really cool static pokemon another very simple editor just randomize static Pokemon. Those are, uh, I believe, like your starter Pokemon are static in this game. Uh, and then you have shop editors. So you can randomize shops. I'm pretty sure that these shops are the specialty shops. So you can see you have the herb shop. You have the TM shop. All of these shops you can randomize. And then separately, you have the traditional Pokemarts. So you could also randomize those if you're looking to go kind of crazy. Just the important key here for all of these randomizations is to save after. That's the real, real important thing. You want to make sure that you don't skip. <laughs> um, these other... Anything that I'm skipping, 
at the time this recording doesn't have a full randomizing editor that is very interesting in my opinion like i said you could check them out but i'm just showing you the highlights the next really good one i would say is gift pokemon we love randomized gifts i believe the toxel that you get at the daycare is randomized so that's really cool trades that's also a pretty neat randomizer you could randomize that dynamax adventures you can also randomize and that's the last thing that i would like to show you all so that's really it for randomizing all you have to do then is just close out of your game or uh, rather your exe here i know it seems kind of weird but that's just how you do it uh, before you close out if you didn't have this folder open with your game already you can go to options open current folder that will make it so uh it will have it'll show you the files that's editing so that's pretty useful but yeah once you're done you just close out of it and you're done this is going to be the folder that we are going to be applying on your system do not worry about these exe and uh, rom fs files you don't have to worry about those anymore from here you can skip to the timestamp on the screen whether you're going to be playing on switch or emulator this is the folder you're going to be worried about it's time to randomize some bdsp and some cool mods that come with this randomizer program as well so here is the latest randomizer i will link this down below It'll automatically link to the latest version and you're going to go ahead and download the RAR file or it might be a zip, whatever it is, just download the file here, not the source code and go ahead and extract it. I already have it, so I don't have to worry about that. But uh, yeah, you can see here BDSP randomizer folder and we're going to open up main.exe. As you can see, you can stretch it out if you want. It doesn't really matter, but you know, if you want to look pretty um, and this is a really simple randomizer, really easy. You have all these options pretty self-explanatory <laughs> um, this is randomized tm compatibility and there's a lot of options honestly if you're watching this in the far future then there's probably a lot more options because this game is just blowing up with the mod scene right now uh, there's a 60 fps mod speed multiplier so many changes that you can make lots of coming soon here i'm excited to see what they have in the future just click off whatever you want and then really easy they make it so easy with this randomizer it's amazing you just click randomize and then you just go to the dump folder that we just got so in this case we have brilliant diamond and just click on the rom fs folder with your dumped game and then that's it you're done well you know give it a minute it'll randomize apply all of those great patches and then you're done look at that not only that but it opens it up and gives you the gives you these two folders for applying the patch so from here you can go ahead and skip ahead to the applying your patch section to actually get your randomizer working finally we have pokemon legends arceus the most recent pokemon game as of this recording so we will be using pknx for this game make sure you download the latest version of that and unzip it onto your computer and you're going to want to go ahead and open up that pknx.exe file there we go so as you can see i was already messing around with legends a bit so what you're going to want to do is go to file open and go to wherever the folder is with the exefs and the rom fs for your game that we dumped just a moment ago so in my case i have it on the c drive i just put it in a nice easy folder game dumps legends and you want to pick the folder that has both the exefs and the rom fs within it and you can see that's already loaded for me so since i'm recording this in july it's been a few months since legends is out we have a lot of options here but not a lot of them are actual editors yet in terms of randomizing or quality of life fixes so it's likely that if you're watching this in the future in a year or two from now that uh, there might be more features i'm going to show you the ones that are currently usable and you can mess around with anything else as you see fit so of course the first one we're going to go to is trainers you can go ahead and click randomize and then really important you want to make sure that you click save after any of these menus save 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 the next editor that has something interesting in it is the shop data so you can click randomize here and this will randomize all of the items that you can buy this would most certainly make for an interesting playthrough that's for sure as you can see the pokeball randomized here to a survival charm y that honestly means nothing to me i don't even know what that means so good luck have fun if you try that out that seems kind of interesting we have static pokemon does have a randomizer so we're going to go ahead and randomize and save that the gift editor also has a randomizer so randomize and save there 
and there's only one other editor right now and that's the big one wild encounters that is over here under areas now if you're clicking on areas right now you're probably going to get an error message and that is because you need a very specific dll file to get this to work so this is a bit of an odd situation uh to get this dll file there are a lot of ways that you can obtain it uh the most easy way that i can recommend is if you already own uh, i believe it's doom eternal and or uh warframe those games already have the dll file in their game files otherwise i will leave you to your methods i'm not endorsing any other way to find this dll file but those are uh that is a very easy way if you happen to own those games already once you have that dll file you're just going to put it in the same folder as the exe for pknx so literally just take the dll and drop it in the same folder and that will allow you to do this wild encounter editor it's uh <laughs> it's it's interesting that we need that it makes sense um it's just funny that uh it doesn't come with it which totally makes sense because of the dll file that it is um but with that being said you have an editor here you have the uh the wormhole encounters i believe that is uh the distortions probably and uh what you can do here is max spawn counts that's pretty cool uh the big one here is randomized current map encounters that's the biggest one that you're going to be able to do here and then very important of course click save all all of these other editors as of this recording can't do any actual editing so for example evolutions you can only dump and save so nothing you could do meaningful there unless you're doing manual code edits and then from there all you have to do is just close out of it and there we go you could see in our folder that we were editing we have this patch folder so this is what we're going to be applying so go ahead and skip to one of the timestamps on the screen whether you're doing an actual switch mod or on emulator and i'll show you how to apply this patch this video is being filmed in july 2022 so any pokemon games after pokemon legends arceus are not out yet as of this recording However, what I can tell you is that a lot of this process is the same. Make sure you have a custom firmware switch, make sure it is up to date, dump your game, randomize the game, and then copy the files to your switch, which we'll go over in the next section. The only portion that should be meaningfully different is how you actually randomize it, the program that supports it. It is likely that a program like PKNX will support Scarlet and Violet in future games, but there's no guarantee, and I'll be sure to update the description for whatever program will be used for future games. As I said for the other steps, those should be relatively similar, if not the same, and the guides for how to get custom firmware and how to update, how to get into RCM, all of those links down in the description will always be the most up-to-date. All right, now that we're done randomizing, we are going to apply our patches to our Switch, and we'll do emulator in just a moment. On the left window here, this is if you are doing Pokemon Legends, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee, and Pokemon Sword and Shield. If you're using a future Pokemon tile that is not out yet that uses PKNX, we'll also probably go by this method. And on the right window here, this is using the current BDSP randomizer. So we're going to go ahead and connect our SD card from our Switch to our computer. You can do that by connecting through the USB mode that we've done multiple times already. Just go through Hikade and you should be able to get that easily. So we'll pull up over here. This is my switch. And if you're using the left window here, if you're doing a PKNX randomizer, so once again, Legends, Sword and Shield, or Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, what you're going to do is go into Atmosphere and go into the Contents folder. As you can see, I do not have one yet. So I'm just going to make contents. And I'm just going to copy this in here. And you can see here, it's actually a pretty small file. This is Legends. Uh, that I'm going to be copying over but this will work like I said with any of those games that I just talked about and there we go so that's copied over that is a legends randomizer so that is if you're on one of those games and BDSP is also very easy so if you're on BDSP just go to the root of your SD card go into this atmosphere randomized folder and just take this entire atmosphere folder and copy it to the root of the SD card so do not drag it inside Atmosphere. Take the whole Atmosphere folder from here and just drag it onto your SD card. And once you have those files copied over, you are done. There's nothing to enable. Game patching is on by default. Just boot up your Switch like you normally would in custom firmware, load your game, and you should be in business. And finally, if you're looking to do this on an emulator, I'm using Yuzu here as an example. 
we have Pokemon Sword as our example game. Just right click and go to open mod data location. As you can see here, this opens up in a separate window for me. And there shouldn't be anything here for you unless you have done a mod before. So uh, that is what it will look like for you. And what you're going to want to do is just make a folder and you could really just call it anything you can call it randomizer doesn't really matter as long as there's a folder there uh that's really what matters so just click on that folder and then if you're doing sword and shield if you're doing legends or you are doing let's go pikachu and eevee what you're going to do is take this file this folder from pk and x go inside that and then drag anything in there over to that folder that we just opened up from yuzu and that's it uh, there might be more than just RamFS, depends on how much you randomized. I only have RamFS, so that is what you're going to do. And then, of course, if you're doing Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, you get these folders, the Atmosphere Randomized and the Emulator Randomized. Um, of course, I do not have BDSP pulled up here, but let's just say, for example, uh, that this was BDSP. Let's say Legends Arceus. Let's just pretend that this is uh, Brilliant Diamond. We would just do the same thing. We would make a folder. We would name it randomizer or whatever you would like. Go inside there. And then this is the folder that popped up if you just randomize BDSP. You just open up this folder and just copy these in here. And then that's it. It really is just that simple for emulator. And that is it. That is the comprehensive guide on how to randomize every Pokemon game on the Nintendo Switch. I hope this was helpful. If you do have any problems, we do have an FAQ that we will be posting in the description, so be sure to check that out. Best of luck, and have lots of fun randomizing. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.